Hey everyone, welcome to Pineapple Knits, a knitting and spinning video cast. I'm Marina, and you can find me everywhere on the web at Pineapple Yarn, especially Instagram where I'm most active. And you can visit my hand-dyed yarn, fiber, and candle company at pineappleyarn.com. Thanks so much for joining me this week. If you're a new viewer, thank you for joining me, and I'm glad you found my podcast. And I have just been really enjoying the beautiful weather here in coastal South Carolina. I think I say that all the time, <laughs> but I am so grateful for the warm weather, relatively warm compared to other places that are experiencing snow and cold. It is so beautiful here. Um, yesterday was mid seventies and today is still really beautiful. So I'm completely grateful for that. <laughs> but I have just been working on some, uh, well, one languishing whip and I've been cranking some more socks. Before I show you those though, I am going to let you know what I'm drinking today. Um, I actually purchased a stash tea sampler from Amazon and I'm so glad I did because I'm discovering some really great new flavors. Uh, what I'm drinking today is a cranberry pomegranate and it's a blend of hibiscus and rooibos teas with some natural flavors and they're so good. This tea is amazing. I've already, I'm keeping a list of everything that is in the sampler and I'm kind of like giving them a little rating. And so I know what to purchase the next time I wanna buy tea. So um, anyway, I'll leave a link below because it's actually such a great idea if you love tea like me and you wanna try out some new flavors. But I'm also burning uh, one of my candles and it is still January's Glow Club Candle New Beginnings. Um, yeah, it has lasted so long and um, I think it's getting down to the end at this point. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's getting low, but I feel like I've been burning it for weeks and so <laughs> maybe next week I'll have a new scent. So my first finished object this week is a pair of socks and I'm only showing you one because the other one I totally forgot. I don't know what happened but I had to put away the sock um, and I have maybe like three more stitches to graft on the toe. <laughs> so it's nearly finished. But uh, this is a yarn, um, the colorway is called Hummingbird from Vivid Yarn Studio. And what I did is I, I don't have a huge yarn stash, which might be surprising to some of you, but I think because I dye yarn so often <laughs> that uh, I don't, I do have a yarn stash, but I purchase other dyers yarns pretty intentionally. And no, that's not true. I have a lot of single skeins of sock yarn. I really do. <laughs> But this is one of them, and I think I purchased this from a D stash, and I absolutely love it. It is just a, you know, it's such a fun blend of purples and greens, and we have some yellow and brown. This is uh, maybe not a color I would dye myself, and I don't think this is a I guess I, I guess what I'm trying to say is this is surprisingly, I surprisingly love this so much. <laughs> this might not be, um, you know, what I normally gravitate towards, but I really love this sock. So, um, the details about knitting it, I used my 60 slot cylinder on my, um, Erlbacher Gerhardt circular sock machines, the Speedster, and I did a 20 row hung hem with just a plain stockinette foot and then the heel and toe are just the basic short row heel and toe. So yeah, I've been, um, well, one thing I wanted to do, so my next, I guess, challenge on my sock machine is to attach the river and figure it out. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, a little nervous, but, um, I figured one of the challenges that I kind of needed to tackle before I did that 
is to, number one, use up some of my single skeins of sock yarn. So that's what I wanted to do. And then number two, I wanted to challenge myself in using some other, um, maybe some other fiber blends or other, I guess other sock yarn um, that's different from my base. And so, yeah, so I just decided to crank up some of these languishing single skeins of sock yarn. But um, yeah, so I was really happy with this one. Let me show you my next pair. I should also mention that this beautiful sock blocker is from Knitting Left and I purchased it around St. Patrick's Day last year. And they are so beautiful. I really love them. And so this is my next sock. I'm, I could just show you one or I could show you both. I should put on the other one, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this finished pair is um, a colorway called Happy Little Rainbow from Plank and Stella. And this is, wow, I have had this in my stash for a really long time, um, several years. And so I thought it was about time that I knit it up. And it's just a really saturated blend of purples and pinks and greens and aqua. It is, there's so many colors. And I've found, not surprisingly, that I like to basically fit as many colors as I can in one colorway. Um, not me personally, but that's definitely the yarn that I gravitate towards is just super crazy colorways. I don't know. It's just, it's just the way I am. But um, yeah, so this is knit exactly the same way as the last one. Just a 20 row hung hem uh, stockinette leg and foot with the short row heels and toes. And this was fun. So um, yeah, I have two more pairs of finished socks. Of course, the other one I have to graph the toe, but um, I realized that I am going to have so many socks <laughs> if I keep up this knitting pace. And already, I want to say this is pair number, I want to say close to 10 for the year, which is so crazy. I'm averaging maybe like a pair or two a week. And so what I'm going to start doing is numbering them and just keeping track and um, maybe even post them on Ravelry, which would be amazing. But I really want to see by the end of the year how many pairs of socks I've knit because it's getting me a little crazy. <laughs> so yeah, this was great. Another finished pair. I wanted to add one more thing about the socks. Um, I'm always interested to see how much yarn I use. I am a huge fan of weighing my knitted, either my, the rest of my yarn or the, the actual finished object. And um, these weigh 58 grams. And so I used a little more than half a skein. Um, I'm actually really surprised because I used, I didn't use any contrasting yarn in these that they weigh that, that little, that I used that little of yarn. So, um, if you're interested in how much yarn you're going to use, that's kind of a rule of thumb. And so, um, so yeah, I still have a lot of this yarn left. And so now I'm going to move on to my work in progress. This, you will be seeing this the next few podcasts, I have no doubt. <laughs> this is my banana leaf shawl and banana leaf is a pattern by Yuki Uda, Ueda maybe? I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm probably completely mispronouncing that, but I used my Advent 2019 calendar from Pineapple Yarn in this shawl, and so I picked it back up again. I was really trying to be good about doing a little bit every day, and it was just, it just didn't work out. So let me show you what I have so far. So this is the beginning, and then that is where I'm at right now. And I, um, so this pattern is something that has been on my 
on my mind for years and it's actually a lace weight pattern and so I found a wonderful description in Ravelry of how to um, I guess transform this into fingering weight yarn and so I don't want to give any details away if you search Ravelry the Ravelry projects you may find it um, otherwise, I do want to, um, I guess, start a project page on Ravelry for this. And you all know, those of you who have been watching for a while, I am so, so bad about uh, putting projects on Ravelry because it's just, yeah, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> but um, I do want to put this because I did make some modifications for fingering weight yarn and it has worked out really, really well. Now, um... I did just say that I love weighing things and I have not weighed my minis how much I have left after every uh, color change so I do need to do that and if I do I think part of my Ravelry project um, the reason why I don't put them on Ravelry is because I want to put lots of details like how much it weighs and how much of each yarn that I used and you know I want to make it really detailed instead of just taking a picture and putting it on. <laughs> so that's just my problem. But yeah, I think this is turning out so amazing. I just cannot wait to obviously to wear it and to block it and see it completely finished. And I am currently knitting, let's see, this is my current color and I'll show you what I'm fading from. I'm fading from this really pretty uh, blue, kind of a turquoisey blue color, into more of like a, um, it has some white and some turquoise, it's a light, definitely a lighter color. And the way I'm fading this, um, I don't know, this probably is a technique, it's probably not something I have made up, but basically what I'm doing is completing one side and then with the other strand of yarn knitting to the other side and then when I get to the back doing the same so I'm using knitting with color number one across and then just knitting with color number two across and of course I have circular needle I've, um, I'm knitting with a circular needle so that's the way I can do that but I'm sure that other people I'm sure I, I didn't make that up but that way what I can do is I have less ends so I have absolutely no ends on this side and all of my ends are contained to one side and so I'm able to knit with one um, one color at a time I guess and so right now on this um, what I'm doing is actually fading I believe numbers day number 12 and 13 together this turquoise aqua blue color <laughs> is number 12 and I am fading this one, number 13, or day number 13 in. And I'm doing maybe eight-ish rows of a fade, you know, of alternating um, back and forth between colors, and then just continuing on with the pattern in the, um, the next color. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not even halfway done, which is just crazy because the length of this shawl is this much already. It's just so crazy, but I am just completely so happy that I used this pattern because it was a pattern that I've wanted to do for so long. And then also, um, I'm so happy that I dyed a gradient for the advent calendar this year. I think it just made it, it's just making this knitting so much fun. And even though I'm the one who planned it and I planned it out for several months, so it wasn't, um, it really shouldn't be a surprise, but, and, and I should show you this too, my messy basket that I have all of my colors in here. I actually have all of my yarns caked up. So I couldn't really show you this when, um, you know, when Advent was closer, when we were actually in Advent, because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But yeah, I have all of my, I took little pieces of tape and just, um, it's just little pieces of masking tape and wrote the day on it and just put them on each little cake. Um, and 
so I know what day it is, and that's kind of what I do. So all I have to do is grab a cake and then start knitting with it. So it kind of makes it easy. I really don't have any excuses not to finish this. This will get finished for sure. And so that's really fun. And then also I wanted to tell you what needle size I'm using. I'm using a US for, which I think says a three and a half millimeter. I'm not positive. If you want to do this modification with the banana leaf shawl, I would suggest going up a needle because I am a loose knitter. I always go down a needle size. So yeah, there it is. And this is just so much fun. This, I anticipate this will take probably at least three more weeks to finish um, just because I think that's as fast as I can knit. <laughs> But this is definitely going to get done before I cast anything else on. So that's that's my rule for myself. So I think that's all I have to share, share with you this week. I haven't done any spinning. Um, I was so last week just with the podcast and with sending out all the clubs and with the shop update, I was so busy and I really, honestly, I took some of my knitting time in the evening to do some computer work and whatnot. So um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I just kind of, um, like, yeah, I had to squeeze it into my knitting time, unfortunately. That's the way it goes, and, um, so hopefully I'll have some extra crafting time this week, but, uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to share with you this week, and I hope everything is going well with you, and where you are, hopefully the weather isn't so terrible, and... <laughs> You can feel spring coming on, but uh, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And if you enjoyed the podcast, I'd love if you would give it a like and possibly subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.